Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I have an unboxing of my favorite dolls to unbox. Do you remember what they are? This is a Lavender e Poupes doll, and you may be thinking, oh my gosh, Allison, but that box is so small. Yes, it is so small. So she made a tiny, tiny little wooden doll. I am like absolutely blown away with this doll. I saw her, so I talked to her about it and I asked her, I said, have you ever made a really small wooden doll? And the reason I asked that is because, first of all, I love her dolls so much. Like I cannot describe to you guys how much I, oh, I smell the lavender. Oh my gosh, all the endorphins just right to my head. I cannot describe to you guys how much I really, really love her dolls. And I, the ones that I have are fairly big. Like I've got some this size and then some like an 18 inch size. And I asked her, have you ever done a really small one? And she said, no. And then a few, maybe it's a couple months later, she sent me pictures of a small one. I was like, ah. So anyway, guys, I am like so thrilled to be the first person to get one of these tiny wooden dolls from her. All oh, the smell, y'all. Mm. I just gotta, I just have to enjoy this. The way her dolls come, like the smell is just so wonderful. Ah, oh, chocolates. She sent me some chocolates. I love chocolates as well. Oh gosh, look at this, okay. Oh, y'all, she smells so good. I can't get over it. I cannot get over how amazing this doll. It's going to be like I've seen the pictures. Look how small this is. This is a tiny wooden doll. Do you smell the lavender, buddy? Do you smell it? It smells so good, doesn't it? You don't like it, do you? It doesn't smell like tuna fish. Oh, I'm so excited. Really small wooden dolls are very hard to make. So she is not taking orders for these. She is going to be making them as she has time, and it'll be like a first come, first serve basis. Um, so you'll just, if you want one of these, you're just going to have to be following her on Instagram, follow her on Facebook, be paying attention to when she has some available um, because there, this is one of those things that's like, oh my gosh, they're just, let me, I'm going to think I'm going to cut the top here. This is just so amazing. Now she named this little one Prairie, um, which I think is a super sweet name for her. Let's see. Oh my goodness. Okay. We're almost there. We're almost there. We're getting there. Uh, the smell is just so... Okay. Seriously? All right. This is a little lavender pouch. I have two of these that she's made me with dolls and I have them sitting on my computer desk. I would say at work, but my work computer is here at home. I have these sitting on my desk and like when I'm doing something at work, I'll just pick it up and smell it. Like people, I've done it on meetings before. <laughs> You know, we use Microsoft Teams or Zoom for meetings. And I'll be in the middle of a meeting and be like, what are you smelling, Allison? Oh, it's just a lavender pouch. Don't worry. It's nothing weird. But, oh gosh, they just, mm, they smell so good. Okay, I'm done. All right, so I got a little thank you card. Dear Allison, thank you so much for adopting Little Prairie. I really hope you're going to love her with friendship, Lorena. I'm going to love her. So, anyway, back to why I wanted a small doll. I mean, why wouldn't? Look at the tiny little, oh my gosh, the tiny little wrap. I'm, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die when I open her. I can't even like tell you, finish telling you guys a story because I'm so excited about opening her. <sighs> okay, I'm panting. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. Oh y'all, she is so precious. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness wow she is amazing y'all look at her she is so perfect now i know that making something this small was very very difficult oh my gosh she's my little mini me by the way if you didn't notice she's got green eyes blonde hair um, I wanted one of her small doll, I wanted a doll by her small. I have a very strong emotional connection to Lorena's dolls, to the Lavender Poupe dolls. I don't know, like, it's, it's everything about them. They're just so special. They're so, 
They're made out of sustainable materials. You know, she hand carves each one. Like every bit of her, every fiber of her being, of her artistry is in each one of her dolls. And I just feel so strongly about them. I love the wood material. I love everything about it. And I wanted a doll to take with me everywhere. And now I can take this little one practically anywhere. She can ride in her little wrap and she can go with me wherever I want her to go. I can keep her with me at all times. And that is what I wanted a little doll for like this. Oh my gosh, y'all. I cannot get over it. Look at her little ears. Look at her little ears. Oh, she's so precious. She's so wonderful, y'all. She is so beautiful. She's so gorgeous. Her hair color is like almost exactly the same. Like, look at that. You can't even like, it's like the same color as my hair. That's incredible. Wow. Wow. Wow, I'm gonna just undress her so you guys can see how amazing this doll is. Like the, just, Lorena is just the most fantastic artist. And again, she's not taking orders in this size, but if you don't have one of her dolls, I highly recommend getting on her waiting list for one of her larger dolls and make sure you're following her when she posts these little ones for sale. Um, and I'll try not, I'll try not to be the one to buy the next little one she posts if I'm the first one to see it. I will have a hard time resisting because this is just so precious. Oh my gosh, y'all. Oh, wow. So look at her little body. I'm trying to get her little, I should have took her shoes off first before I tried to get her skirt off. Um, let's see, because she's got little handmade leather shoes as well. Look at the little body. Look at how perfect it is. The little wooden, it's like exactly, she's exactly like one of her larger dolls, just in miniature. And she told me like it was incredibly difficult to do a doll in this size with the level of detail too. Like look, the little nostrils, she's got little nostrils. She's got the same little like cute smile, chin, like everything is carved expertly by her. The little tiny arms and oh my gosh y'all, this doll. And she ordered special springs from Germany, tiny springs, because the springs, because these dolls are spring jointed. And the good thing about spring jointed dolls is that they don't over time lose their elasticity. The springs last a whole lot longer. This doll is just exquisite in every way. I'm going to take her shoes off. I want to like look at every part of this doll. I'm just so, I'm just so smitten right now. And she's even blushed her little knees. Like her little knees are blushed, her little body's blushed. She is just the most adorable thing. Look at her. Y'all, I have never seen something so wonderful. Oh my gosh, she is such an artist. She is a true, like, her dolls are, oh my gosh, they're, they're everything. What, what else can I say? Her dolls are like everything. They're like amazing. This. Wow, she is just the most exquisite. Look at look at her size. Look at that size, y'all. I should get her dressed again. I'm sorry, Prairie, that I put you out here in the in the wild for everyone to see, but I just wanted y'all to see like the craftsmanship here on this doll. It is exquisite. Like she is so amazing. She's my little twin, my little twin girl. Um, and she has panties. I know a lot of you are very fond of your dolls having panties. So she's got a pair. And she's just, the, she's like the perfect, like, oh my gosh, she's so perfect. She is so perfect. Lorena, you have like, every time I get one of her dolls, y'all, I'm like, I'm just blown away all over again with how amazing what an amazing artist she is. Like, how can you even do this out of wood? Like, how does, how do you make, how do you create something so incredible, so fantastic, so beautiful, so, like, when I really say I have such a strong emotional connection to her dolls, I think, too, when you, like, when you, when you hold a wooden doll in your hand, you know, a wooden doll feels natural, I mean it is natural, but it, the way that it feels, I think it's just like 
there's there's a, like an immediate connection because this doll crosses off like all it crosses off all the senses right okay first of all the sense of smell when you start opening the doll up you get hit with that beautiful lavender smell so that's like the sense of smell and then as soon as you see the doll it's like love at first sight every time like just look at that we've got it's, she's just so beautiful and then the sense of touch like when you touch this doll she feels so good in your hands it's just the the wood the way that that wood feels to human skin I mean it's just like it takes on the warmth that just feels so good. The sense of taste with the chocolate she always sends. I like, I know, like I can associate like the taste of this with these dolls. And then um, the sense of hearing because you hear the little springs inside and they're not loud at all, but like you get that. It has a different kind of ring to it. I wonder if my microphone will pick it up than like stringing does. And you know, that that's the sign of quality like when you hear that I, I don't know if the mic will pick it up but you can kind of hear it inside and you know that and, and, and it's not loud so it's not like that's why I say the mic probably didn't pick it up it's not a loud sound but like every once in a while you get that hint of that metal spring in there and so you know that the doll is like really made out of quality materials there's no plastic in this doll at all she is like wood and metal of the earth natural fiber um well the paints might have paint might have something in it that's but i don't know what kind of paint she uses but it might be pastels i don't know but you know the doll itself is like just oh i love her i don't know what else to say because even like this is all leather this is not in metal grommets we don't have plastic on this doll this everything is so natural and so perfect and she is going to be my little travel companion i am i'm really going to take her everywhere with me from now on she is going to i will leave her out i won't make her stay in my purse when i'm not traveling but if i go somewhere it's going to be like car keys prairie let's go car keys prairie cell phone let's go that's it she's going to be she's going to be like my cell phone she's going to be going People don't even call them cell phones anymore, do they? They're like mobile phones or phones. You just call it a phone now, don't you? It's going to be phone, car keys, prairie, let's go. Everybody get in the car. So I'm just so excited about her, y'all. And if you haven't heard of this artist before, I have several of her dolls here on my channel. I have a playlist of wooden dolls. You can check that out. And her dolls are on there. And I will leave her Instagram uh, in the link below people always ask me how do you order you just reach out to her on Instagram send her a message on Instagram send her a message on Facebook and you can get on the list her list is very long um, these dolls are again she makes them by hand she is the one making every one of these dolls by hand and so she has a very long list she is a very coveted artist for very good reasons she is incredible but get on her list now if you think you want one and if you end up like going off of her list for whatever reason don't worry I'll buy the doll that you abandoned because I actually bought a doll that somebody else um, ended up not buying like the, one of the last dolls I got was like that but anyway all right guys I hope you enjoyed this video thank you for letting me indulge all my senses with you I will the Sun is coming up now so we're gonna have to cut this off but I hope you loved love her as much as I do like look forward to seeing her a lot out and about Thank you so much. Well, if I'm going out and about, don't go out and about as much because of COVID, but you know. Um, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to follow the artist and we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. I want to say a huge thank you to my patrons from Patreon. Lindsay S, Leah W, Doreen Z, Janice H, Mercedes W, Cindy K, Bear Sunflower, Diane B, Kelly L, Cindy L, Susie W, Krista R, Victory Run, Shorna R, Shira Star Hobby, Stephanie W, Jessica S, Ray M, and Asia C. Your support means so much to me and helps me continue bringing you great Dolly content. For information on how you can become a supporter of this channel, please see the link in the video description. Thank you so much for watching.